Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to make exploded views in SolidWorks. So what's really great about this is you can save it as an AVI file, you can save this in a PowerPoint, you can use this for uh, you know, technical documentation, you can put this in you know, assembly instructions, how to assemble this like on the factory floor, floor if you're some sort of a lean manufacturing plant or something like this. You know, not to mention the benefits that we can see in a drawing, right? Using the Exploder View to document all the parts, build materials, etc., etc. So our goal here is to, you know, just show you how easy it is to create this and to, you know, go about it your own way. So what we're going to do now is go to our Assembly tab, select our Exploder View, and, you know, essentially start from scratch. The first thing I want to do is I want to grab this charging handle and we're going to move it backward. And then the next thing that's going to be moved is this bolt and carrier assembly. So we'll move that backward, followed by a downward movement. Then we'll move the charging handle down, just like you'd assemble it, disassemble it in real life. And we'll move this backward so that it comes out of the receiver. Now the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and reuse the subassembly explode from the bolt and carrier group. So I can just select the bolt and carrier group and simply select reuse subassembly explode. And all the subassembly information from the bolt and carrier group is generated in this top level assembly. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for this rail system. Select the rail system, reuse subassembly explode, and that portion is taken care of. The next thing I might do is, uh, you know, let's grab this uh, castle nut. grab the castle nut with the select subassembly parts checked on so I'll just grab the castle nut we'll grab the barrel the flash hider the gas block and the gas tube and with auto space checked on I can move these out as one entity and then auto space them afterwards so it should auto space these out in space so let's just go ahead and move this here and then maybe we'll move, oops, we want to edit that. So I'll go back to this chain, edit this step. And I'm going to move this guy inward. This guy maybe here. We want to do something like this. We want to clean this up just a little bit. And this guy here, so that looks a little better. Sweet. So I'll just click in space, that'll solidify that portion of it. The next step I might want to do is select this uh, receiver assembly. So we'll grab this component, we'll move this back just a hair. We'll grab the castle nut anchor, we'll move that forward just a hair. And that looks about good. So once we've done this, we hit the green check. Then go back to our assembly, our feature tree where our assembly is located. Right click there and then show animate collapse. And now we can see all the work that I've done to assemble this upper. Including the assembly of the bolt, the assembly of the rail system, so on and so forth. The last thing to do is to save this out as an AVI file. So I'll click the save button. I can label how to save it, save type, and then typically I want to select a um, compression, compressor. <laughs> um, and so, you know, any one of these will work just fine. I, I typically use the Microsoft Video One that typically works for me and then click OK and then SolidWorks will save this out as a video file so you can animate this, put it in a PowerPoint all kinds of good stuff. So I hope this helps, I hope this shows how easy it is to make a subassembly. If you have any questions pull, feel free to leave that in the comments below and this is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer signing off.